10 tips for coping with a precipitous drop in performance when working from home. Are you trapped in the home office loop? There's still something you can do to keep your work performance on track. We're here to help. Do you often work from home or are you a first timer? Either way, it's true home offices might not be an instant match for everyone, but it's worth giving them a chance. Working from home is quite different to working in our usual workspaces. If you're prone to getting stuck in one place, some things are worth keeping on your agenda even when working from home. Alternative If you're prone to getting stuck in one place, there are things worth keeping in mind when working from home. As an international workspace provider, we're all about top-notch solutions and hacks when it comes to office well-being and productivity. And we'd like to share what we know about home office organisation to increase your productivity and improve your mental health. Try these 10 tips to maintain your health and improve concentration while working from home. 1. Don't give up on your day's structure. Can't concentrate on work? This might sound banal at first, but have you kept the same routine since you started working from home? Do you wake up at the same time every day? Do you take a shower first, or have you switched it for a different activity? Sure, you can adjust the order here and there, but try to be structured. That way, the day will move from one activity to another and will give you a sense of development. In the evening, plan your work for tomorrow. If you anticipate a particularly challenging task, allocate it to your most productive phase of the day. 2. Separate your working and personal time. Now that you're working from home, there's no physical distance you must overcome to reach your workspace. By commuting, your mind is getting ready for work mode. Now, it might be challenging to keep private and working time apart. Have a look around your home and select one or two zones which you'd like to use as a workspace. If thinking about work stresses you out, set fixed working hours for yourself. If you share a household with your loved ones, set an hour or two during the day for time spent together so it doesn't get too lonely for you all. 3. Surround yourself with natural elements. No, we're not joking. Having access to greenery contributes greatly to stress level reduction. People report a 15% rise in their perceived well-being and work productivity compared to those with no natural elements in their proximity. Some plants are great air purifiers. However, biophilia is not just about plants. It can be any of the following. Music with biophilic tones, such as a stream running through the country, birds singing, bees buzzing, etc. Natural elements. Patterns mimicking the shapes found in nature, such as waves, leaves, etc. An aquarium with fish. Now that you're familiar with biophilic elements, stop for a moment. Look around your home. Did you find anything that could be considered biophilic? If so, put it in your working zone to improve your mental health. 4. Activate your sitting position. And now we'd like to show you how to sit. Right, you know how to do that. But we bet nobody taught you at school how to correct your sitting posture to a healthy one. Most of us people from offices spend our days sitting. The luckier ones have adjustable tables or different workspace types to switch to during the day. For many, it's probably a different story at home. However, the environment is one thing, but core position is another. So let's find the ideal sitting position. Sit in an upright position with your legs down and monitor at the same height as your eyes. Don't have a laptop stand? No worries, books or a pile of old magazines will do the trick. Try the following rules for sitting healthily, which can bring your sitting habits to a new dimension. Choose a chair that allows you to place your feet flat on the floor and bend 90 to 120 degrees at the knees. Support your lower back. If your chair doesn't support your hips, place a pillow behind you. Keep the screen at arm's length for the sake of your eyes. Too close will strain your eyes, too far will make you squint. 
The top line of your screen should be at or below eye level. If you don't have a laptop stand, help yourself with whatever you have around you – books, magazines, etc. Get an external keyboard and mouse to maintain both optimal screen height and ideal typing position. Place your laptop against a window to minimise outside sources of glare. We know lying down with your laptop might be tempting, as it's not what we usually do at work, but it's definitely not good for your neck and back. Best not to do it, ever. 5. Take breaks regularly. It may be easier to get into the flow when no colleagues are around, but don't forget to take breaks from work. We even suggest you plan them ahead of time. After every 60 to 90 minutes of focused work, take a short break. Off-screen break. Yep, that rules out your smartphone too. How long should they be? Short breaks should be 5 to 15 minutes of different, non-work-related activity. Check the list of inspiration for break activities. After 2 to 4 hours of working, take an extended break of at least 30 minutes. Stretch your body. Walk around your house a little or take the trash out. Eat some fruit or treat yourself to a smoothie. Your brain runs on glucose. Read a book or magazine. Drink a cup of tea or coffee. Check in with your family, friends or even a colleague. Small domestic tasks such as loading the washing machine, washing the dishes or watering plants. Play some music or an instrument. Meditate. 6. Let some fresh air in. Fresh air is essential for your brain and productivity. Our homes usually allow for natural ventilation simply by opening a window. 7. Initiate your creativity with art. It's a cycle. We create art and art stimulates the swirl of creativity back. Decorate your home office and work with your favourite piece of art in view. The art doesn't need to be a masterpiece from a famous artist. It can be your favourite print version of the painting, a poster, an illustration on a mug, a painted can or even your own craft pieces. Art is subjective and inclusive. 8. Be picky about the music you listen to. Take it easy with music. Whilst it can be a pleasant companion, it can encroach on your working memory and attention, especially when reading or writing. We've prepared a set of soundscapes, each of them devoted to supporting different efforts – focus, deep concentration, creativity and relaxation. For example, breathing exercises. You can listen to them at https colon double slash connectwithus.hbrevis.com slash soundscapes. Alternative, you can listen to them at connectwithus.hbrevis.com slash soundscapes. 9. Soak in the daylight. Sitting in beams of sunlight can actively stop the stress levels from flying high. Also, it helps to maintain your body clock, regulating your sleep cycle. So allow yourself to indulge in as much natural light as you can. However, think about glare prevention too and place your laptop screen against a window. At sunset and in the evening, minimise blue light emitted by your screens and mobile phones by using warm light filters so they don't keep you alert and stop you falling asleep. 10. Catch up on sleep. Sleep deprivation is so widespread today that we've all gotten used to it. We even brag about how much we work instead of sleeping. But sleeping less than seven high quality hours a night has a terrible effect on our mental and physical health, as well as our performance. If we sleep less, our brain and cells cannot fully recover, which can lead to long-term effects. So let's get to know what the right amount of sleep is for you. It's worth knowing. In our blog on sleep, you can find out how to improve your sleeping habits.